hello if you're an oldie but goldie come on in the water's fine if you are new my name is louise pentland and i make videos about motherhood and lifestyle and today i am so hyped because i am working with home sense who are a brand that i have loved and featured on this channel for many a year they have been around for 10 years in fact earlier i made a video celebrating their 10th birthday um, they're a homeware store that have the most unique and irresistible finds like treasure every time you go in you see something different that you basically need in your home if you're a home lover you love home sense um the prices are fantastic they're often up to 60 percent less than um you know rrp like the regular retailer price and the stuff is just absolutely gorgeous so when they contacted me and said would i like to work with them again i was like uh yes i would We've arrived at home since and I am so excited. I'm in the market for autumny stuff. I want to see what autumn collection they have. Um, I might look for some bits for the girls' rooms because I've been doing those up lately. And maybe some kitchen stuff too. Uh, but let's go in and see what treasure they have in there. I freaking love it. Pearl's super excited. Oh yes, it's so autumny. Yes, they've got all their autumn stuff. HomeSense has over 50 stores in the UK, so I will leave a link for you below so that you can find your nearest and go and have your own little splurge. Um, but I will show you some of the things that I bought. I always start off on the left and work my way around because you don't want to miss anything. So as I always tell you, you have to be systematic in here to start at one side and work your way around. Don't zigzag because you'll miss things. Their autumn range was beautiful. They had um, stuff from like silly and whimsical to rustic and natural. Um, they also had so many lovely cushions. The lighting section is never one to be missed, although I didn't buy any lighting. Well, I sort of did buy lighting in this, but not like any big lamps. Um, there's just so, so much lovely stuff. There's kitchenware. There's bathroom stuff, there's children's stuff, there's food in there. Um, it's just the most lovely place and also perfect. It's like an Instagrammer's dream. Um, this little picture of Pearl. Yeah, thank you very much. I mean, come on now. Right, I'll start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. Name that film. Um, so as soon as I went into the shop on my left was all the halloween -y stuff. Now I have two young children. I have a seven year old and a seven month old. So I didn't want to go for like a mature Halloween theme in like spooky, like scary things. Although they do have kind of more mature Halloween things if you're looking for them. I went for more like silly and cute Halloween stuff. So first thing I picked up was this little guy. He was only 3 99 like £4 for this little guy, which I think is a bargain. Um, I'm planning on dressing my front room all like cute Halloween-y. We have a lot of social things going on. Over the next few weeks, we've got all my family coming round on Friday night. So I'm looking forward to having all this out. So I got this guy and then to sit near him, I also got these, these little guys here. And this was 5 99 so under six pounds. And I thought they would look so cute together. They're like felt, made of felt. Um, and they're the kind of things that you can put away, put in the loft and then bring out again next year. Sorry to interrupt the video. Just got my mum hat on. Do be careful where you put things if you are doing stuff near fires or candles. We never actually liked this fire. Oh, you can't even see it. There it is. We never actually light this fire and we're also very, very careful with all our candles and make sure you are too when you're putting your Halloween or um, fall or autumn ornaments out as well because uh, safety is important. Still in the felt realm, if there is such a realm, for 14 99 I bought this garland, this pom-pom and Halloween-y garland. I'm planning on attaching it above the beam that goes over my fireplace. Um, I think I might have to pop some like nails into the beam without Liam looking because he'll be annoyed at me <laughs> using nails and a hammer because generally I have little disasters and ruin the plaster work. But I have confidence that this is going to look so, so cute. I mean, look at that little guy. If that's not the cutest little felty ghost you've ever seen, don't know what is. Also to go for the fireplace or like dotted around the room, I bought these party fans. I don't quite know how these are going to look, but they're the ones that you like unfold and you kind of display them, you're, like you make them yourself and display them all round. I got two packets of those for 9 99 each because I wanted 
to make sure that like there was lots of them because our lounge is quite big and I wanted it to I wanted lots because I thought they just were really cute and I love the colours of them as well I love that they're not super super like neon orange they're just sort of muted tones so I'm really happy with those if you've known me a while, you will know that I cannot resist a snow globe. And I thought this was really cute. I thought it was, you know, cute Halloween-y with sort of smiley ghosts and smiley pumpkins and this big happy cat here. Uh, and I thought Darcy would get a real kick out of that. So I'm going to put that on or near the fireplace so she can play with that. And I also bought this. And I would say that this is in the realms of maybe almost too spooky for her. It's the, um, it's like a fake book and it's a spooky book with an eye, maybe do spells, or potions and spells, it's got a little spider on and stuff. I did pick up some other bits that were displayed near this guy and I was like, huh, maybe this will be too much. But I think that if you've got little children, they've got you covered and if you are um, a bit older and want something a little bit more like, gruesome they've got you covered as well so I bought this this was how much did this retail for 5 .99. I don't think that's bad at all now you might think that that's enough um lovely homeware pieces for one girl for one Halloween but that is where you'd be wrong because this is the thing you go in there thinking I'll just get a couple of bits but then you see how good the prices are and how lovely things are and you end up picking up a trick-or-treat cushion this was 14 .99 for the cover and the cushion inside which I think is fantastic um, and I just think that is so cool I love it so much and to go with it I bought this one that says boo <laughs> and it has like little tassels on here the detail on it I think is just so lovely all the stitching um, the little smiley pumpkins and then also this one to sit with them this one was also 14 99 the boo one was 12 99 um, and this I just think is lovely. I love all the colours, really autumn-y. A bit of fringing down the bottom, very soft. These will look so lovely on my black sofa in my lounge. And you know how earlier I said I didn't buy lighting? Um, yes, I did. I bought these little light-up pumpkins that I'm gonna hang somewhere in the lounge. These were 12 99 as well. I strongly suggest you check out all the lighting stuff in there. Most of my lamps in my house are from there. I have a beautiful cactus lamp in my front room um, that I bought a long time ago, so I don't think that will still be in stock. The thing about stuff in HomeSense is that once it's gone, you might not see it again. So if you see it and you're able, then definitely pick it up because I have found such treasure in there. Okay, next up is kitchenware or stuff that I will use in my kitchen. If you have been following my weekly vlogs, you will know that I'm on a bit of a healthy living uh, lifestyle change at the moment. I have been eating a lot better and as such, it means I'm preparing a lot more food from fresh and myself at home. So I thought I should treat myself to some kitcheny bits. I bought this giant, um, what's this called, chopping board for, Da -da -da, 9 .99. all our chopping boards are really small um, and getting a bit old and I really wanted something fresh I love the colour of this it's like a tealy blue colour and I'm not really a fan of white chopping boards I don't know what it is about them I much prefer um, a darker shade so I'm really excited to be using this I bought this a few days ago and I've been like saving it for this haul but I'm really excited to get that in the kitchen and start making some of my healthy foods on it you know I can't resist rose gold things. So when I saw these uh, implements, instruments, that's it, I couldn't resist picking them up. I bought one of these, little spatula jobby, uh, for 2 99 less than three pounds, which I thought was just fantastic. And then I bought two tongs. I don't like touching um, meat very much. I don't, uh, you know like you know picking it up and putting it in the pan I just don't like doing it I'm really funny about it so I love tongs and I've got a big set here sorry here and this was 3 99 and then a smaller set and that was also 3 99 I thought I had covered all the Halloweeny bits but alas I also bought some Halloweeny tea towels I mean it's cats you know I'm a crazy cat lady so this is a cat dressed as a witch and she has a bag on and it says check me out how is this little guy got all the way around there? I've got so excited, I've pushed, pushed my necklace all round. One of my greatest weaknesses in life is stationery. 
and HomeSense has beautiful stationery and it's so affordable. So of course I picked some up. I know that we just did the Great Big Annual Stationery Haul and I'm not supposed to buy stationery unless it's around August for the Great Big Annual Stationery Haul, but I mean, look at this. It reminds me of Hi Ho, it's off to work we go. You know the Seven Dwarfs and they find all the mines in Snow White? I mean, look at all the mines, all the jewels down the mines. Look at this, it was 6 99 I thought the edge was really interesting. It's not bound, it's just kind of glued. It has sprayed purple edges, this marble effect on the cover sheets. <sighs> I mean, please. How was I supposed to leave that there? I could not. Um, I could have just bought one, but I did not. I also bought this. It says Big Secrets. I thought that was really nice. It's like a soft... Um, a soft bound one. I might give this to Darcy because she loves having secret notebooks. She definitely takes after me in the stationery department, uh, but as yet I haven't decided. Definitely though for Darcy is this one. This was £2.99 um, and it's a, I forget what you call this, a mystic ball? Is that what it's called? Like a magic future ball? It's definitely not called a magic future ball, but maybe a mystic ball. Um, somebody will tell me what it's called. Um, but I thought that was really fun. It's a little notepad and she can she can write all her spells and stuff. She's really into making potions. She takes little bottles um, up to the bathroom and puts like glitter in and like felt tip ink in and like makes them all sparkly and fun. So I thought she would enjoy that. And then also for $4.99, I picked this little guy up and this is a sticker book, um, AKA a book full of stickers. If you are into journaling, I know bullet journaling is huge right now. Um, or planners, I mean, how cute are they? Like brunch, dinner date, etc. Um, I thought that this was just so cute to add to your like planners and journals and notes. Look at that, Look at those little coffee cups. Look how cute they are for goodness sake. So I'm really looking forward to using this little guy. Since it's September and Darcy has gone back to school, party season has started. If you have a school-aged child or remember yourself from your school-aged times, you will know that there is a party almost every weekend. Some kid in the class is having a party. You have to take a present. So I tend to stock up on cute little bags and like party bits so that if someone has a party and you're like, oh, I'm not sorted, we can just go to the cupboard and you are. So I got this one because I thought it was so cute. It's just animals having a party. I kind of want like wrapping paper and wallpaper and a dress in this in this print because I just think it's so cute. And that was 179. Like if you went to one of the uh, like bargain value stores and bought gift bags, it would be the same price, but it wouldn't be this beautiful. It wouldn't have all that glitter effect and so much loveliness on it. I love it. And for 199 for a bigger one with the tag as well. We have this one with the foiling and the balloons on. I reuse my bags as well. If someone gives me a bag, I hate it when they've written on this. Because I'm like, don't write on the tag. Just give me the bag and I can re-gift re it. Does anyone else do that? I'm sure I'm sure you do. Um, I also picked up this little card and it says 199. It doesn't say 199. It was 199. And it's you are magical and inside it says thank you so much. Because it's always handy to have a thank you card. And I just really liked the illustration, it really floated my, my, my boated. Home sets have a really lovely aisle full of what I would call high-end knickknacks. It's the place where I pick up my dad's birthday presents because my dad is a man that basically has everything and I never know what to get him and everyone knows there's people in your life where you're like, I don't know what to get them, I don't want to give them a voucher, I need to give them something. So I just pick up some sort of like unique ornament from there. Um, I recently picked him up a magnifying glass on a stand, but then <laughs> ended up keeping it for me because it was so lovely. So now that's in my lounge. That was from home since a few months back. Um, but whilst I was there for $14.99, I found this tray and it looks like mother of pearl. Um, and I am mother of pearl. And I thought this, this would be really handy for keeping my makeup all in one place. I have a set of drawers where I keep my makeup, but in the bathroom, I just, the, my makeup's just all over the countertop. So I thought if I buy this, I can put all the makeup in there. And at least if I want to, I can then put this somewhere else if I need to like tidy away quickly. Um, that's the excuse I'm giving myself for why I needed this tray. But I mean, it's a mother of pearl tray. 
and I need that in my life. Not want, need. This time I actually resisted the candles because the candle section in HomeSense is divine. They have the most amazing array. They all look beautiful. They all smell beautiful. I have so many HomeSense candles in my house. In fact, I don't really buy candles from anywhere else. I generally buy from there because I think they're so lovely. Um, and the stationery and art and mirrors and all that sort of stuff. And upstairs they have kitchenware. Um, pet things, storage and the children's department. Oh, and bedding as well. But the children's department, I find some lovely pieces in. So I'm gonna show you those. For Pearl, I bought this wooden Noah's Ark puzzle, which I think that at the moment she's obviously not going to be able to do because she doesn't have the ability for that yet. It says one to two years on the packaging, but obviously I wouldn't leave her unsupervised with anything. But I think she'll enjoy the colors and playing with it and holding it because she absolutely loves wooden toys. Um, and I just think it's nice that they do really high-end lovely things like this So I'm looking forward to her playing with this. I also picked up some kids hangers for their wardrobe I love the felt feeling ones because the clothes don't slip off the arms of them um, And also they're super thin so they're like streamlined so you can get quite a lot in their wardrobes and Darcy and Pearl share a wardrobe so um, I really am trying to cram quite a lot in there. The hangers by the way were 3 49 for $16.99, I bought this most fluffy marshmallow pink coloured blanket. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't decided where I'm going to put this yet. It could go in here because I have the pink wall. It could go in the playroom because we have um, the big pink teepee or we have the day bed in there. Or it might go on Darcy's bed. Or it might just, I don't know, live downstairs on the downstairs sofa because it would go, I have so much pink in my house that it would go everywhere. So I bought this just knowing that it'd be like a really lovely blanket and very versatile and would go everywhere. Plus, I mean, did I mention it is so freaking soft. And then last, but by no means least, for $29.99, I found this. I just think this is the most unique thing I've ever seen in my life. This is a swan sleeping bag. This is gonna go for Darcy in her room because when she has sleepovers, she has a little cousin Evie sleepover quite a lot. Um, they can get this out. They can either have it just to play with whilst they're like making up their games in there um, and then sleep in the same bed together as they often do or they can actually have it to sleep in or Darcy could bring it downstairs when we're having film nights and just curl up in it on the sofa or on the floor. I'm really looking forward to like unfolding it and seeing what this looks like but I just think this is really nifty. I haven't seen anything like that before so I just thought yes you have to come and live with us and there you have a very very lovely autumn home sense haul I hope you enjoyed this I certainly did I'm already thinking that I can't wait to see what Christmas stuff they have in there because they do Christmas so well I'm so excited to turn this camera off go and put all this stuff around my house and then film the little shots of it so I can edit them all into this video having such a nice day today. Um, again, I will leave the link to HomeSense below if you want to find your nearest store. Um, thank you so much HomeSense for working with me again. I absolutely love working with you and I know that all the lovely viewers watching this love it too. So do leave a comment, let me know what your favorite thing was or what the best thing you've ever bought from HomeSense was. And I will look forward to reading all of those. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Yeah, I love a home sense haul. Um, yeah, I've got the rush. I've got the rush of finding treasure. I've got that like buzz of when you find things you love and then you're like, yes, I will take you home and you will live with me and my life will be all the better for it. <laughs>